Howdy everybody, how you doing? Welcome back to Airbrushers Games and Art. Hope you're having a good one today. Got some War Thunder Germans with the um, arcades mode. And uh, Airbrushers got a new tank. You'll see it shortly. I really, really like this uh, Polish town map. It has become my favorite map to be on. And uh, that's saying a lot because there's a couple other maps I really look forward to being on, but this one has moved right to the top. I think it uh, requires the, the best driving from you, the, the best tactics, tactics from you, best pretty much everything. Uh, it is so easy to die on this map that you really need to be thinking about what you're doing. So I like that. I like that challenge. And um, I haven't had this one in simulator mode because I frankly have been just having problems getting into simulator battles. But I've been here with, a, ooh, I almost shot him. <laughs> Took a second for me to realize what I was looking at, that he was, that he was a friendly. But I uh, haven't been able to really get into a simulator battle. I get into them every once in a while and either they're crap or on two occasions now I've actually lost the footage when it was a decent game and I was going to be real happy to show it. Very frustrating thing, you know, when you're a YouTuber and you lose that, that those um, footage like that, those games. But I think it comes with territory. I'm sure there's not a, a YouTuber out there that has it had that happen? A serious YouTuber where it's it's a, more than a hobby, but you know you're really trying to make something out of your channel, like I am. So trading shots with this guy, and I just cannot seem to get through his armor, but he seems to be killing my driver every chance he gets, and. Um, I don't know how he's doing it. See, there, you know, he's killed me. So it's like, hmm, how do you do that? It was a good shot, um, but straight through the mantlet. I wonder what he was firing. So there's my new tank, folks. There it is. It is my Panzer IV. The small, little, flat Panzer. It's, I'll call that the Flat Panzer. <laughs> In homage to Jingles, who I think is the one that coined that for a world of tanks. And a lot of people hate that. <laughs> so therefore, I'm going to carry it. <laughs> um, this has turned out to be a really good, fun little tank. Um, I enjoy it. I enjoy its gun. Um, it's fairly maneuverable for what it is and um, it allows you to really get in and mix it up and because of its low profile and it's got some decent sloping especially on the front that uh, you, can, you can get in there and fight a little bit before you know you start taking damage or someone takes you out and normally it's the you know really high velocity type guns that take you out I think it's just they overmatch the armor angling but, anyways, I'm going to go ahead and move into the town here. Um, I'm just, and you know, there you go, kids. That's what you're supposed to do with your airplane in arcade, ground forces, and air forces combined. He didn't run into me. He didn't crash his plane on purpose. He didn't make a fool of himself. So, take note of that. Yeah. Jumped in his plane and did what he could. Now he's back in his tank. That's that's exactly what you're supposed to be doing. Not this stupid, stupid dive bombing your Corsair or whatever. You know, just God. Uh, you know, ooh, a bunch of friendlies here, and I was like, who are they all looking at? Because I'm going one way and they're looking the other way. So I'm like, am I gonna get shot from behind? What the heck's going on? I just get around this corner where I feel I'm a little bit safer. And then, oh, Mr. IS. <laughs> like, oh, crap. 
So I just kind of bounced off from right there. Now, remember the fences and the, and the stone fence posts and things like that, you can fire through with very, very minimal uh, effect to your round. So don't fire through the house, just fire through through the uh, fences. Though I have fired through the houses before. Normally what I do is um, if I get an X, I'll, uh, I'll take the shot. If not, I won't, I won't try. I'll wait till I have a clear shot, then I go for it. But this little, this shows how tough this little Panzer is. And uh, I got the angle. He just gave it to me right through that cheek. It was flat. From the front, it's almost impossible to go through right there. You see, he uh, couldn't find where that guy was initially, but I, you saw him just for a second. He's off to the, to the right there. He's up, up front and to the left. He was to the right of where I was looking. And uh, straight through, hit the transmission, then pick, pick the crew out. So back in my Tiger, um, even if I'm having a bad game, when I get into my Tiger, um, I tend to have a good personal game going from there. Even if the team is really horrible or we're going to lose, um, when I get in my Tiger, I know I can just get in there and if I'm frustrated or anything like that, it's real easy for me to handle that. <laughs> Because I can just get in someone's face and just start swinging. That's what the tiger is good for. And it's also very good for long range shooting too. With the gun and ammo it carries. It's very good. But uh, here I'm just heading into town. And uh, we've been having a fairly good game. The team I'm on is very good. Uh, I think they're... You know, I've noticed the difference between playing with Europeans and playing with... Um, North Americans in that uh, Europeans tend to be very aggressive <clears throat> where North Americans tend to sit and wait for you to come to them uh, Europeans are you know they put it in gear and they move forward and they attack so it's very uh, odd or kind of different if you're on a team that's predominantly Europeans because I use the EU and the NA servers for War Thunder to uh, have a, a timid team on a European server. It just normally doesn't happen. You get that on the US server, the North American server, I mean. It's not just, you know, US. There's, there's other country, you know, there's a place called Canada. It's part of North America. <laughs> Um, but yeah, it's, I, I notice that we tend to just think that we can snipe when a cap zone, you know, something real stupid like that. So it's always fun to play with Europeans because they're much more my own play style, much more aggressive and get in there. And uh, I wish I was reloaded. Could have got, I mean, I still killed them there, but it, it would have been fun to get from the side. So I'm going to uh, die here in a second. This uh, little guy right there in front of me is just pounding the heck out of me with his little machine gun or whatever cannon. But this is the end of the game. I die right here. So I want to thank you for joining me. Please hit the like, share, and subscribe buttons so I can have you back. I enjoy having your time and having you watch my videos. Thanks for coming by. We'll see you soon. Goodbye.